on my way to the grocery store. I am usually the type of person, like I grew up in a house where like our pantry and our refrigerator was always full. Like just, like probably too full for like how small a family we had. It was just like me and my brother and my parents. But my mom, <laughs> My mom just like loved food shopping and she loved food shopping at like Costco and BJ's and like wholesale places and I get that it it's like more economically like it, it makes more sense to shop in bulk but we just always had so much stuff so obviously now in my adult life I found that like in my apartments I tend to like over buy and of course it's just my husband and I <laughs> But these, like, this past week, two weeks, I have been putting off, well, because I had, like, my dad come and then my best friends come, I've, like, really put off uh, food shopping. And it's gotten to the point now where, like, first of all, it looks like no one even lives, like, if you only open the fridge, you'd be like, no one lives here. Because there's, like, nothing, nothing. There's, like, pickles and ketchup and, like, other condiments, but besides that, like nothing like trying to put together a breakfast today was like near impossible um, so I thought okay I definitely have to go food shopping today there's like no if ands or buts about it so that's where I'm headed now and apologies for the sunglasses but I'm not wearing any makeup and I look a little crazy daisy my eyebrow is and I say eyebrow when I get very stressed my eyebrows fall out and it's usually my left eyebrow so this one um, is worse than my right and it's like a little time delayed so especially with the past um, few weeks of like the stress with Elsie and um, ooh, there's a cop hiding sneaky um, just like with all that stuff it's been a lot and I kind of knew while it was happening that my eyebrows were kind of screwed. So I think we're entering, you know, we're entering that time where it's starting to like get really, it's really thinning out. Uh, and any sort of like extra hairs I had are gone. But I know that they'll grow back and I just have to, I have to be better with dealing with stress and anxiety. Like I'm so bad at it. And I mean, I'm, I'm good at it and like almost like a daily basis, it's fine. But like if something crazy happens, I, and I don't know how to deal. So I'm trying, it's a struggle, but all we can do is try, right? Anyway, so these sunglasses, sunglasses for me are always like such a funny thing because so the first pair of sunglasses like the first pair of expensive sunglasses I ever got my like I was young I it was like maybe probably in high school if not a little younger my mom got them for me they were Versace sunglasses I love them I still have those sunglasses I don't know how but I still have those but after I bought those Versace sunglasses or my mom bought them for me I've got another pairs of sunglasses and I've bought myself other like expensive sunglasses and I swear I've lost every single pair I've lost or they broke and I st I'm like what is my problem like why can't I keep track of sunglasses and so I cut myself off I was like no more like you cannot buy any more expensive sunglasses because you can't spend $300 on a pair of sunglasses and then lose them that's just like so irresponsible so I've just been like either one like not wearing sunglasses or two like my mom will just like give me a pair like these are foster grants which for anyone like who knows foster grants used to be like the cool sunglasses like back in the 80s but my mom just gave these to me because I was like oh these are cute and she was like here take them so that's what I'll do now in terms of sunglasses <laughs> because I just like can't I can't I can't keep buying expensive sunglasses and then losing them which is so tricky because I'll always like see sunglasses I like like the Dior ones that aren't attached here um, or like don't have the nose thing I think are really cute um, I love like Celine sunglasses <sighs> but I can't like who buys an expensive pair of sunglasses and then just like loses them it doesn't make any sense to me um, so I'm sorry if it's a little rude, 
but you all see my eyes are like not looking very cute today. Um, so I have a few days to prepare before my best friend comes to visit and I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited to see her and just to like hang out together. We've been best friends for like, you know, over 15 years. So she's like my sister and I'm just so excited to have her here. Um, fun story actually, she, for my 16th birthday, the way it worked out was my 16th birthday and it was my brother's 13th birthday and um, we were bar and bat mitzvah and so it was my brother's bar mitzvah and I was like you know I knew that I wasn't having like a sweet 16 per se because I had a really big bat mitzvah so my parents were like well how about we do this instead although I my brother still got he still had a party um but I think this was like his present. I don't know. Anyway, so for my 16th birthday and for my brother's 13th birthday, my parents said, bring a friend to Disney. Like we'll go, we'll have a huge Disney vacation. We'll go to Universal and SeaWorld and you guys can bring a friend. So I, I brought Caitlin, my friend, who's coming to visit me soon. And that was her first time to Disney. And she hasn't been back since. Um, which is really funny, but that was our first time to Disney and so we're thinking we might go back again Which would be really fun because we have a bunch of pictures around Disney together and we were like 16 in those pictures and now we're a lot older <laughs> oh, Trip was like 12 years ago. Oh crazy. So yeah, um, that'll be so so fun. Also fun fact my brother for that trip somehow he ended up so like I invited my best friend Caitlin and she came. My brother, I don't know how this happened, slash how he got away with it, but he invited one friend and then invited another friend and he ended up bringing two people. He got to bring two friends. Granted, I don't even think I had like two best friends at the time. Like I'm pretty sure like Caitlin was my best friend and that was it. Um, but I always look back and think like, how did he, how did he finagle his way into that? Like, how did he, you know, on what planet was it okay that he like invited one friend, told my parents he was bringing that friend, but then invited another one and then they both came. Anyway, that was such a fun trip. That was so fun. Um, okay, I am in the shopping center. I'll do a little more vlogging when I come out, but we'll see. See how crowded it is today. Just beat the rain, guys. I should actually be saying that like once I'm already inside with the groceries inside. Cause... Okay. I always get nervous that I don't have the emergency brake off. I do. Um, yeah, it's just started raining as per Florida huge. Look at this hair. I look like a crazy person. Oh, I feel a little tired today. Ooh, some gray clouds. My left shoulder has been bothering me and I think I slept on it weird. Because I remember like rolling over in my sleep and thinking like, ow, that hurt. And now like today when I was trying to like pull the cart, um, it was bothering me. And that's when you know like something's up when like pushing the grocery cart. Anyway, am I going to, yeah. Um, I would say that was semi-successful. I don't normally shop at this grocery store. Yeah. You know what's nuts too is like my friend coming is the last, is like my last little visitor for a little while. Yeah. Ooh. Rain, rain. Anyway, I was like thinking, I don't really have anything different or unusual, which is good because it means like, it was a nice successful grocery shop trip because sometimes I think like crazy things happen in the grocery store right like oh sometimes I'm just like so taken aback by some of the stuff I see but today was a pretty pretty normal day which is good all right I'm gonna head home I bought so many like liquids I bought so many juices which sounds silly like why did I need to buy all those juices but like, I've really been loving having, like, I don't know, it, it kind of craves, it fills the craving sometimes. So instead of, like, reaching for a bag of chips, I'll just, like, have a juice. I don't know. I make no sense sometimes. Um, 
yeah i'm definitely gonna go to the gym watch me not go to the gym now Woo. Nope. all right y'all i'm gonna go oh i think that was the bottle of wine i should also mention i bought like lots of juices but i also bought one um okay I'm going to go because it's starting to rain a little heavier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will chat with y'all soon. Love you all. Bye. Did you see that nice wave right there? Crazy old Chipotle. That looks good. Okay, I got to go. Bye.